Well, I'm going to start with where it all began for me, really. And this was when I was eight years old, I saw this picture on the wall of a science lab, and I was absolutely entranced by the beauty of it and the perfection, and it was only really after a, a long time that I discovered that it had taken Harold Edgerton at MIT 25 years to achieve this. And the, interestingly, after my father died a couple of years ago, I actually also found out that one of his best friends sourced all the components to make the flashes. Which is why, when I got my own camera six, eight years later, these were two of the uh, pictures that I shot on my first roll of film. I was going for the milk, thousandth of a second. I hadn't yet discovered that to be a proper pro, you had to take loads. And I hadn't discovered, I'd also needed to discover that you didn't put your own shadow in the picture. <laughs> but still, with a the milk theme, and this is sort of the exception that proves the rule, um, I had to take lots and lots to, uh, to get this shot. Um, but I do still love to get most things in camera. But uh, we did work on all the shapes for this, and, but I love working on conceptual images such as this, so we call it Dairy Cow. These bubbles we blew quite a long time ago now, but they're still ubiquitous. And I remember this particular pair of bubbles rising up the tank and knowing that if the film came out okay, they'd definitely be used. I'm very, still very pleased with this work and very proud that with Gary Holt from Lambie Nairn, um, we, decided, we decided the color of O2 at the light box in my studio. Um, this is, uh, uh, the liquid work has brought quite a lot of interesting drinks campaigns, and this is for Guinness, and Guinness is always fun, they came over from South Africa to shoot this, but the main trick for this was um, that we also had to shoot a tornado that was visible in opaque black liquid. Um, again, for a drinks uh, campaign, but this was for liquid washing powder. Um, the trick here that we had to do was create clear liquid coming out of the glasses in, in the same, exactly the same way that the splashes would have come out of the glasses themselves. And we also embroidered the OMO logo onto the tablecloth. Um, this, we got a call from the underwater studio at Pinewood saying that we could uh, have it free. Um, we weren't told exactly why, as, but only as long as all the activity we created was above the water. Then all of a sudden, a Chinese delegation with number five in the Politburo and several UK government ministers trooped in to see what we were up to. Uh, this is a project for Getty that I worked on with Lee Coventry. Um, it was all about muscular strength and power. Um, and what we were trying to do was create abstract shapes that became much more sculptural rather than photographic. I still love doing beauty shoots, and this is Flaviana Matata, um, who is a, f a Tanzanian supermodel, the first supermodel, the first person ever to enter Miss Universe with a shaved head. This is a project that I worked on with Ali Hazelwood, a makeup artist, um, and then which brought us this commission from Tribe Marketing. They're a company that uh, send out tribal warriors rather than brand ambassadors, people who fight for your brand. So we were looking here at uh, creating sort of logos. We've got Red Bull on the left and Adidas on the right um, and bringing through that fight. Uh, uh, we love a bit of subtle humor in the studio. So here is our 2013 Christmas card, um, working with uh, uh, talented hairdresser Robert Frampton and the rest of the styling was done by my assistant in the supermarkets and, uh, and parks of Hammersmith. <laughs> uh, this is another Getty project which was uh, entitled Celebrations and I worked with a very talented stylist here uh, called Kyle Bean but I was silly enough to allow him to design me a set that was entirely made of mirrors. So uh, hiding the camera and the lights turned out to be a great deal of a, a challenge, but hopefully the, the result uh, is eventually worth it. My wife constantly asks me, how many uh, more photographic gadgets do I need to buy? Uh, here we've got a curly end camera on the left that creates the auras around various objects once we whack an electric charge through. Um, and the, on the right we have a, a, ho a light painting device, which is really very useful to get light where you need it in still life shots. Um, the special gadgets we used on this shot were lasers and guns. This uh, project taught me that every client uh, expects their advertising to be produced in proportion to the time they take to produce their own project. So cars and phones, you got loads of time. The Guardian produced a paper every day. So the two days we had to produce that were a long time. I, I still really love advertising and love the sales process. And all of these images here were originally sent to me as scamps uh, by art directors. And the part of what I really enjoy is 
taking those ideas that are drawn up roughly and then turning them into reality to uh, help sell clients' products. And what could be more of a, a thing to sell the product than an album cover? When Zip Design asked me to do this, they said they wanted to do it for real. So we had a uh, three meter tall wicker sculptures commissioned and took them to the middle of a field in the middle of February. And fortunately, with a bit of good luck and good weather, we managed to get the shot. And here's Ozzy thanking me for my contribution to the project. <laughs> Um, and he's t telling me how much he loved the film that, uh, uh, that it also plays behind him on, um, on stage. Um, he was very chatty, but the only adjective he knows is fucking. And he, when he told me we'd love to, uh, told me that I must have been really glad to get the fucking fire lit because it was so cold in February. We all, lear we all learn a lot from our children. And the, here, are, here are mine, all shots available at Getty Images. I uh, hasten to add they have to pay their own way somehow. But... Um, <laughs> But here I wanted to create a triptych uh, the way I gave each child their own space, but uh, worked as a single composition. Um, the top line here is uh, pro another project that I did at Forgetti, which was animal eyes, including a human. And the fact that that was in our portfolio and on the website brought us this commission for Vision Express. And uh, the interesting thing is that, linking to the last slide, the, the bottom right blue eye is that belongs to my son. And lastly, this is a teaser for an art project I'm working on at the moment. I'm collaborating with 10 different artists to, to do a self-portrait on a brown paper bag, which we're going, then going to photograph them with and without wearing that, and they will all end up with an exhibition at a venue yet to be announced. Thank you. <laughs>